Hi everybody, and welcome back to Life of Zack. Today I'm going to continue in the series that I've been doing about cool gadgets and tech and all kinds of other stuff that I find either reviewing things that I have or just discussing stuff that I see online. And today I want to talk about the all-electric ID Buzz concept vehicle by Volkswagen. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've seen the new Volkswagen uh, all-electric microbus, as we used to call it, or the VW bus, um, that's what we're talking about here. And like I mentioned, this is the electric successor to the microbus, uh, which was sold by Volkswagen from 1949 until 2013. And it's the pop been popularized by kind of hippie culture in the 1960s, you know, the travel bus, you know, people going cross country. Um, and they're trying to bring it back in an all electric version. Uh, it's going to be available in the European Union in 2022. Um, and then the 2024 model will start selling in the U.S. in 2023. Uh, it was originally supposed to start in 2022, but it has been delayed uh, for a year. Uh, now there is um, a ride hailing version that's also supposed to come out in the United States. Um, when that's going to be released is uncertain, but we do know that the passenger version is coming out in the U.S., uh, and then in Europe you'll be able to get either a passenger or a commercial version. Uh, now the van itself has a 300 mile range, uh, which is actually pretty good. Um, it kind of depends on which battery, of course, that you get, uh, but the one version has a 200 mile range and you can go all the way up to 340 uh, based on the different options that you get. So it's about 300 miles on average. Um, it has flexible seating inside for seven, which we're going to talk a little bit more about. It has this big nostalgia appeal uh, for people who were really into the van and the culture at the time. Uh, now they're saying that the starting price is going to be about $40,000. But of course, that's with the really basic stuff. So once you get some of the options for the extendable range and a lot of other stuff, I'm sure you'll see that go out. Uh, now, the one cool thing here is that this uh, unit is actually based on Volkswagen's modular electric drive, their MEB platform, uh, which is really cool because that's similar to some other things we're seeing out of Europe where they're building these electric vehicles on one chassis and basically just changing up uh, the body. And I'm going to share in the link, uh, the description below, a link uh, to another video I did about another company that is has a concept vehicle for really an all-modular electric fleet. Um, now, going back to the ID Buzz concept, um, like I mentioned, there's going to be a commercial and a passenger version in Europe that's going to be shorter and then here in the US we're going to get the longer wheel version the US um, and this ride hailing version which the difference from that is is basically set up in the back um, with two forward facing seats and then two rear facing seats so it's kind of like you're sitting in this this circular area together uh, it's rear wheel drive 200 horsepower you can go up to 300 horsepower with the top of the line options uh, the battery starts at 400 and 48, excuse me, not 400, 48 kilowatts uh, hours and increase to 110 with the option. So that's where you get some of this change in the power that can be provided and also the range. Uh, now Volkswagen is claiming that with a fast DC charger, uh, you'll be able to charge from 0 to 80% in 30 minutes. And as I've discussed in the other electric videos that I've, vehicles that I've reviewed, 80% um, is the optimal where they say you should be running it at. Um, so that's not bad compared to some others, but I've seen a lot of places that are better. Um, and that may improve as you get some new technology in it. Uh, now the one really cool thing about this um, concept vehicle is the seats. And I think this is kind of going to be their big selling point. It's really, I'll say, designed to be like a rolling mobile living room. All right, so you've got three rows of seats in here, and all of them spin and fully recline, even the two in the front. So basically, you can 
spin them into kind of like this mobile room depending on where you're at so like if you stop you can take all the seats spin them around in a configuration that they'll be kind of in a circular area and there's um, the console in the middle actually moves and has a table so that's basically is again designed to turn this electric version of the microbus into an actual room like a living room where you can do things at uh, and even things like the steering wheel folds away so again you can kind of see what VW is going for here is to be able to sell this concept of a mobile living room uh, a vehicle that can be used for camping it can be used for family events and functions just like people used uh, the old VW bus or the micro bus that we always talk about um, so again, hearkening back to that concept, they're hitting that pretty hard here. And again, I think this is going to be a big selling point. The number of seats and the fact that they can all um, kind of be configured in this way to get seven people into basically a room on wheels. Uh, now a couple other things. We do know it's going to have a touch screen display. Uh, there's not a lot of information out about that. Um, there's kind of this idea that you can also like have an iPad mounted in there, uh, but there's going to be like Wi-Fi and all that, and, and again, the touchscreen display for the vehicle. It's supposedly going to have next gen, their next gen autonomous technology in it at some point, which would basically make this a self-driving vehicle, but they're not marketing it as that because my guess is there's not, you know, they're not at that point where they're willing to sell it as a self-driving vehicle. Uh, but in theory, at some point with this autonomous technology on, it could be a um, autonomous vehicle. And I think maybe even by the time they start selling it, but probably soon after that, um, you'll see that it'll be able to be sold as that. If we're at that point with technology and marketing and kind of what's being used in the U.S. and what's being approved, that you'll see this kind of autonomous vehicle. Um, and that, this is kind of be, maybe be a bridge almost between the two. And again, with that mobile living room concept, uh, I think people are going to be really attracted to that because you can basically, if we're at the point with autonomous technology, set this up to be like a mobile hotel room where you're just driving down the road and using this as a room doing whatever you normally do um, while you're on vacation or even at your house, but inside the van. Um, so I think, again, that's going to be a big selling point on it uh, for a lot of people. So again, just to touch on some of the stuff we went over um, with this ID Buzz concept vehicle by Volkswagen. Um, it's coming out in the EU in 2022, and then here in the U.S., uh, the 2024 model will be sold in 2023. It's an electric successor to the microbus, the big VW bus that we see, and everybody kind of from that generation kind of idolizes with nostalgia. Um, people love them. Flexible seating for seven that can basically turn into a mobile living room. Three sets of chairs, uh, three rows of seats, I mean, uh, they can spin recline everything I think you'll see a lot of configurations of people converting this into like van RVs and travel wagons and things like that um, approximately forty thousand dollars basic but a lot of the things you're gonna want you're gonna have to have upgrades so price is gonna be pretty steep um, with things like the range starting at only 200 miles uh, you have to get the upgrades to go to about 340 uh, the batteries starting at 48 kilowatt hours and having to be increased to 110 um, and again, the horsepower being 200 rear wheel drive and need to go up to 300 uh, top of the line. So there's a lot of good things there, but those are all options that you have to add on. Um, so I think you're going to have to watch that price uh, point balance. Like, do I want to spend this much money for these options? Um, because if not, you're going to have a lot of things that you're going to not, you're going to wish you had in the van, like the extended range and stuff like that. Um, so when you have if you're interested in this, you're going to have to make decisions about uh, you know, what can you live with and what can't you live with. I um, also think that probably that charging time is a little long. Um, some others are a lot shorter, so I think 30 minutes, at least mentally to me, it sounds like a long time when I stop versus some of the others were like 18, 20 minutes. It's not much difference, I guess, but when you think about it um, or when you initially look at it, it seems to be. So I think that'll be another hang-up for some people. 
Um, but like I said, they're coming out with this, you know, the long wheel uh, passenger version here in the U.S. And I think a lot of people are going to love it just because of nostalgia. And again, the big selling point is being able to turn it into a mobile room. So if that's something you're interested in. Be sure to follow up uh, and keep an eye out on this ID Buzz concept vehicle by Volkswagen. Uh, so again, thanks for tuning in to this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, be sure to hit the like button. Leave me a comment with any feedback or more information that you know. As always, I don't know everything about these vehicles. They're not even out yet, so just what we read. Uh, and hit subscribe. There'll be other electric vehicles and all types of gadgets and all types of other things that I can come up with that I really like to either read about or have and just want to share with you coming out on my channel. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found value in this and hope you have a wonderful day.